What's up, guys? Tom Walker here to put some more Minecraft survival games to playing on SG4. Look at that sun. Ooh, it's freaking amazing. Oh, no! Yeah, I got the hat. It's, I, that was a terrible corn thingy, but I got the hat, so it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do things. Don't steal my route, you little bastard. This guy was uh, chasing me last game, and he's just like, Tomahawk pulls team, my fan, and he's probably going to try to steal my route and kill me within the first 10 seconds, which is not going to be super nice, but we're going to keep completely ignore him for now. So, basically, uh, since I didn't get to finish my childhood stories in the previous video because the game ended, I decided to, well, finish them right now. So, uh, obviously, you heard about me telling a story about me going to a, 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 like a fair thing and basically, you know, getting really hurt or whatever. So I decided I'm going to tell that story right now as about, uh, and another story that kind of go, goes off of it at the same time. So um, basically, when you're in Mexico, the like it's not the safest, you know, carnival thing in the world because everything's, you know, put together. There's no, like, FDA regulations thing in the middle of, like, a city that's uh, in the middle of nowhere. So there's that, and um, basically I'm just going to try to avoid this guy because he's probably... Oh, he's going to give me a weapon? What? 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 Okay, okay, just just kill you. I, I thought you were gonna, you know... I, I told him I wasn't gonna team with him, so... Sad face to that. I have no idea what's up with that, but... Basically, you know, everything's all dangerous and stuff. And I was at this fair, you know, everything was really cool, pretty cool. Like, like I don't know, like one or two th uh, rides break down when I'm on them. But that's fine, that's fine. So, but the, the, the part that starts to matter is when we're going to the... Uh, it's kind of like the bumper cars, right? Uh, I think that's what they're called. You're just like, you're, you're in these tiny little cars and you try to bump into each other and like beat the shit out of each other with uh, cars. And basically, for some reason, the driver of the, the vehicle gets to wear the seat, or gets to not wear a seatbelt while the passenger gets to wear the seatbelt. So I when I put that on, when I realized that, I was like, okay, whatever. And basically, you know, my brother was in the passenger's thingy and then I was driving. And also there was a, a padded thingy on the steering wheel for the passenger, but once again, not for the driver, which is kind of stupid. I don't know why I did that. But so, I'm, you know, we're, we're going around bumping each other or whatever, and then I remember either I smash a wall or I smash into someone, some other person or whatever, and I remember hitting my teeth straight into this, like, it's metal steering wheel, and it hurts so much, and I was, like, crying and stuff, and then... Basically, that's how I almost knocked out my teeth, uh, which leads me to the, the other story that I was going to say, that I actually did knock out my uh, one, one of my teeth. Actually, I, I, I chipped it, and I chipped it actually quite uh, like two times. So apparently the guy I killed likes to give me stuff, too. Okay, he's probably going to just sponsor the entire thing, so we're going to get twinkly, twinkly sounds. But, um, okay, this is just going to completely break my train of thought. Her oh, my goodness. He is just showering me with... Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Well, then... Uh, um, yeah, well, I got a cake now, so it's all good. I just, wow. All right, so uh, continuing on. Basically, uh, when I was, uh, I think I was like in sixth to seventh grade, I loved skateboarding. I was like, I was pretty uh, de half decent at it. I wouldn't be, say like I'm a super, you know, skateboarding pro, but because, you know, I, I'm a nerd. Uh, oh, he's still sponsoring me, shit. Uh, I, I, oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I'm like a super nerd who likes playing video games and stuff, but for the sake of argument, I was half decent at skateboarding. And basically, I'd always go to the skate park, you know, the Volcom skate park, which is, you know, this free skate park, you go whatever. And um, there's always this, like, same thing that everyone goes down. You go down, like, a whole bunch of, uh, like, hills and stuff, and then you go off this, like, huge ramp. And I could do that, you know, no problem or whatever. But uh, th this one time I went there, there's this one asshole who was going up the. Uh, the you know the the jump and then uh, basically stopping and then going back down for whatever reason and basically I thought that well I kind of figured that was going to end up being a recipe for disaster which it ended up actually being a recipe for disaster seeing as the story is about how I chipped my teeth but uh, continuing on I uh, you know I went off the ramp a couple times and uh, basically one time I went up and it was right after the douchebag guy who keeps keeps going back down the ramp and basically you know I'm going after him I'm good like five ten feet away so there's time for us to move out of the way but basically I try moving out of the way then he tries moving out of the way both in the same direction kind of like when you're trying to walk past someone who's walking in the opposite direction and you both end up like trying to move out of the way of each other and you keep doing that weird little thingy back and forth that's what happened with me and him so I end up hitting hitting that guy he knocks me over and then there's this kind of like this cement ledge that people can uh, you know jump off it's kind of like a stair thing and I smash my face on it uh, really really damn hard and then I basically end up chipping half of my left middle uh, you know tooth my, my left my left front tooth and you know there's blood everywhere I'm just I'm bawling in my tears and then I end up calming down we go home and then the next day I go to the dentist and then basically my tooth's fixed uh, forever or so I thought it was actually another time in which this tooth got knocked out yet again uh, because my luck is absolutely terrible when it comes to my teeth. 
So basically, uh, I used to play baseball, which I actually I absolutely suck dick at baseball. I realize that now. Well, actually, I realized that when I played baseball too, I didn't want to play it ever. But I played baseball, and basically, we we're having the uh, the end of the year party, so we're going over to my friend uh, Shane's house. Yeah, uh, you know that Shane that was in that one video. Basically, we were having like the end of the year party at his house, and it's kind of like a it's kind of like a water party. You know, they had like a, a, a an inflatable water slide that you could go down or whatever. And I'm just chilling around, we're running, having fun, and there's these green squirt guns. I I could I could cl clearly remember these damn green squirt guns and oh my goodness uh basically these looked like super awesome things i think you like press them and they squeeze shit tons of water out and basically what happened was i wasn't looking when i, I walked around the you know i was i just went down the giant slide and then I, w I was going down to like run and go up again and then i ended up running into one of these guys holding these uh giant things and i smash my face into it and knock out the same exact tooth that i had knocked out before because you know it's a filling and it's not as strong as a normal tooth and you know the thing comes out i end up going home and then getting my tooth fixed the, the other day but the funny thing is uh shane he ended up telling me that later that day he uh he ended up finding my uh my filling uh or i yeah i guess it's called a filling yeah he ended up finding it. No, he didn't like look on the floor and he saw it. He ended up actually stepping on it barefoot. He stepped on my old fill-in tooth and he thought it was the most disgusting thing thing ever. And I just chuckled at it and moved on with my day. But it was it was pretty funny. I liked it. What is he trying to do? Are you trying to like knock me behind while I just you know? Actually, I might as well kill this guy. Yeah, you're gonna die, bitch. Oh, come on, come on, come at me, come at it me. Oh, you're gonna you're your team now. So, come on, just take this guy out or something. Oh man, these people are absolutely terrible at the game. Might as well just go over there and kill them. So basically, uh, I guess that's uh, pretty much all of my childhood stories, uh, minus the a super major childhood story, which you know I already told you that I already made a video on it. But uh, I'll, I'll tell that story later because that's that's basically that story is so long it's a video in and of itself because that's it's just yeah it's 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 big story and stuff. So we're gonna over here and kill this guy because uh, let's see if we can get him with arrows. Probably can. Yep, one arrow did the job. Cool story. Does he have any uh, lakes? No. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's this one guy. That one guy who had the lots of iron. It's oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. He is. He, like, that was just good timing. I'm like, I, I was like psychic. I just said his name and he appeared out of nowhere. He threw a diamond on the floor. Cool. Thanks for the diamond. But I'm still gonna kill you because uh, you know I'm mean like that. Oh, man, that would have been a sweet hit if I actually managed to get that guy right there. Oh, well, come on, jump in, jump. Why? I hate when people just run endlessly because they want to stall the game or whatever. Just piss me off. Actually, I, I shouldn't say I hate them because I do the same exact thing when I want to annoy people. When I know I'm 100% dead, I'll run for a long time or whatever and I'll end up doing it. And, yeah, so come on. I hope this guy runs over to the, uh, what do you call it, gravel trap so I could uh, I just like activate it and then kill him, which would be pretty funny. Nope, he's just dead. Uh, there's a pants that I wanted. Uh, I'm just gonna wear his pants, which is once again really weird. <laughs> like I've said before, take his helmet. That's not as weird, you know, because uh, I think uh, I remember hearing this thing was like uh, people in like a ancient whatever uh, basically took the heads of their enemies and uh, well, actually the skulls of their enemies and took them home as trophies. And I thought, you know what, that is the most amazing thing ever because you I don't know how the hell you get the skull out of like this like the actual face thing. Because, you know, you always see skulls of people, well, I, I don't know, I always hear stories of, like, you know, people having skulls in their bit basement or whatever because they killed a whole bunch of people, but how do they get the skulls? Like, do they put, like, the heads in, like, acid or something so it only, only leaves a skull behind, or do they, like, kind of, like, rip the skull away from the flesh a little bit by bit, and that's a pretty disgusting image that I just put in my head, but, uh, oh well, I live with those things. You, once you're, once you've gone on the internet, you, there's really nothing that can mentally scar you anymore. Uh, basically, just, just like there's, uh, if you go on the internet, there are a few videos that you have to see, no matter what, those videos being, uh, the, well, pretty much the only major video that you have to, to watch on the internet is, like, if you've ever been on the internet, is Two Girls, One Cup. It's just, you, can't, you gotta watch it and you, you you throw up and then you move on with your life it's just like you can't be on the you can't say you're an internet user and you and you haven't watched it but that's pretty much what it is and we're gonna shh, come on come on come on oh nope come on come on oh it's, it's like a target practice well if you're just gonna keep going back and forth like that it's just too predictable come on one more shot should do yeah there it is and i am awesome man we're gonna go into the death match we're gonna end up Oh my, oh my god, he had lots of stuff. Blah. Pick that up. And then just throw this crap. Come on, come on. Oh, there it is. 
And we just pick that up, and we're going to go make the diamond sword, and we're going to, you know, maybe make some arrows or something. I have no idea, but let's go ahead and do it, because reasons and things. And we're going to jump, jump in and jump, 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 jump. Uh, I hope these, yeah, like, I hope these people are actually half decent, because I want a good challenge at the end. It's fun stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I see that guy right there. Uh, just, is he going to come after me? No, he's not. Okay. We're just going to put this right there, put that, that, and boom, done. Uh, this guy's got some, what's his name? His name is Stuko Guy. Cool story, bro. And he has the same armor as me. Once again, gold helmets do do the same as the other shit. Uh-oh, you're going to come at me? Well, too bad, because I'm just going to fire a couple of arrows at you. And yeah, go on with my day. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Okay, I have enough time to regenerate because uh, I'm right here. And basically, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? All right. Um, 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 ideas. Okay, he's, he's definitely ate a golden apple, so we're shit screwed. Run, 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 run. Okay, um, jump. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, should, should I, okay, ender pearl, ender pearl. Sh oh, what, what? That was a shitty ender pearl. That just moved nowhere. I don't know how the hell that happened, but, uh, that sucks. Oh, well, we could just kill him with, uh, long-ranged attacks, because, oh, no! He's trying to, yep. Good thing I'm more Katniss Everdeen than he is. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Shoot another one. Nope, missed again. But maybe if I could hit him right there. Oh, dang, that was the most amazing shot that I've done in quite a while. Oh, man, that, that is a good sh good shot. Good shot. All right, we're going to kill him now. Yep, take a couple sh arrow shots at him. Probably going to finish him off. No, 360 no scope. 360 no scope. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of MCSG with Tomahawk. Hope you guys have a nice day. Please, brah!